How's it going guys? And today we are at Blade Show 2019. I'm sitting down with Eric Glesser from Spyderco. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. And uh, he's going to show us some special stuff they have going on at Blade Show, show us some uh, previews for the upcoming new arrival stuff. And then at the end, he's got a, something really special. Uh, so you definitely want to hold on till the end. Check that out. So start us off. What do we got? Um, okay, uh, this is not in our reveal. Our reveal program is something that uh, we, we come out with a catalog three times a year. That, that product should be delivered in the next three months. Um, so I'm giving a little bit of a pre-preview here. Um, but this is the, the next in our series for the Chaparral. It's the Sun and Moon. Um, so it has a white G10, red G10 Sun, and a black G10 and Pearl Moon. Um, if you know the Chaparral series, what we're looking for is a high quality lockback. So it's really thin, thinner than most in that um, Gents kind of series. Um, it has a deep pocket wire clip, XHP with a full flat, um, jimping. It's uh, manufacturing quality is top notch. And it is just the next piece in our series for the Chaparral, the Sun and Moon. Great. Now, Sun and Moon, so what's the, what's the inspiration behind a knife like this? Uh, originally, if you're a, a Spyderco collector and know a lot of our history, we made a knife that was a Solo years ago. It was our Solo brand. It didn't have a, a Spyderco tra trademark round hole. It was a different branded knife. And we did a Sun and Moon series back then, which was also inspired by Yin and Yang. Okay, That's yeah. kind of the theory. That's kind of what I, um, the vibes I get from it, right? Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of yin and yang and balance, and, and when you get into um, me and my father, we get into that kind of stuff. So this is the sun and moon chaparral. Sweet. Yeah. Um, next, I'm going to go to some big knives. These are both over four inches. Um, this is the Police 4. Um, I think it's about 4.3 inches roughly, but now I'm just guessing it is more than four inches. Um, this is going to come in a lightweight now. Uh, we do have the police. The police model is our longest running model. We still make it today. It's the CO7. We've come out with the police three, the police, um, police two, police three, and now the police four in a lightweight. Um, this one has a four finger choil. It's bigger than the original police model. You can see it's it's got a, a pretty nice size handle on there. You can choke up, you can um, get all the way back. It's got the bi-directional texturing, the four-way clip. It's gonna start in VG10, um, but we're gonna make other stuff too, for okay, sure, in great. this piece. So in the Police 4, which will be a lightweight, so starting in VG10 and then there'll be steel upgrades yeah. along the right way. Right out of the chute, we're looking at K390. We wanna yeah. put a big engine in a lightweight car. I like it, I like it. <laughs> uh, so that, that's coming down the line. And then staying with the big knives, this is also more than four inches. That's the Native Chief. Um, it goes right off of the original Native, very much in the same air goes, but it's got um, G10, the full stainless backspacer, the four-way clip, the full flat grind, the American-made, the clean jimping, the high-quality backlock. It, uh, the Chief is the next USA-made big knife. Yeah, this is this is actually a really neat knife. May I hold it? Yeah, please. Oh, got a little struggle there. Yeah, this is this is actually I really like the size of this one a lot, and I'm not really a big knife guy, um, but it it kind of it kind of feels a little bit thinner. It feels really nice in hand. Yeah, the, the when you get to bigger knives, you know these are both big knives. Yeah, and when and when you're putting all that weight down there at the tip, you better have a good lock. Yeah, um, the back lock I still consider one of the best locks in the world. We've it's a sold strong millions lock. of them. Yeah, They've been out for lock. a very long time. I know that there's always these new locks, but but true, especially for things like self close on a big heavy knife. Yeah. Um, that length out there at the end, the action, the back lock for a bigger knife brings still a lot, a lot of value to it. Yeah. So there's yeah, the, awesome. the police four. And you know, the and chief. I, I actually, I actually get a lot of crap because I have a hard time closing the back lock one-handed. But I know uh, it's totally doable. Yeah. But I, I just always struggle with it. <laughs> um, well, you know, most spider codes, we keep that doll part there and we try to make sure that there's a spot. Uh, just okay. about, you know, 90% plus, you can drop that doll part. See, and I've never, I've never um, learned that trick. And so I'm always worried about dropping it on my finger, right? Yeah. With a one handed close. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, also, yeah. the action has to be good enough to do that. Right. And the button has to be in the right location. And the but button can't be too hard to push. And right. the button can't go too far down. And, <laughs> and if you do all those things wrong, it's a lot harder to do that. <laughs> You're um, meaning that there's fine detailing yeah. between different types oh, of you knives? Oh, believe okay. it. interesting. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, uh, oh, so this is another backlock that we're doing. Um, this is in the, the Indela. It's part of the Endura Indelica series. It's right in between the Endura Indelica and its size. Okay. Um, you know, the Endura is getting big for a lot of people. The Delica is a great size, still very popular, but we needed something more in the middle. 
Um, it still has that nice dropped tip at the point for a little bit of strength that comes in a full flat, VG10, bi-directional texturing, screw together construction, four-way clip, uh, nested liners. It's just that nice classic Japanese made Indela. Um, and these two are, are tested and true. Yeah, that's great. Now I'm seeing, and I can kind of see in the box too, like a little sneak peek over there, guys. I'm seeing a lot of lightweights. Yes. Um, is, is, I mean, I've been really enjoying the lightweights you guys have put out, and so you guys are just moving a little in that direction with some of the models then. Yeah, more and more lightweights. Um, you know, in the world of handle materials, you know, you have stainlesses, you have titaniums, you have aluminums, you have carbon fibers, you have plastics. I mean, there's so many things you can do. Uh, plastics, and lightweights brings 3D molding, it brings um, cost advantages, it brings weight advantages. When it comes to molding, we've done a lot of it. If you look at Spyderco's history, we've done a lot of molding and we're really proud of oh, our yeah. molds and we're getting better and better at it. We do it in, um, in America, we do it in Japan, we're doing it in Taiwan now. This is another one from, this is the Sage 5 lightweight. Oh, cool. Uh, so, cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this, this comes with a compression lock. So in the past, trying to do lightweights with liner locks and compression locks was tough because it wanted to push the knife apart. Yeah. You know, nowadays the molders are getting better, the materials are getting better, the way we're constructing the knives is getting better. So this is a lightweight compression just like the lightweight para 3, except for this one has liners that go all the way down and around through the pins on okay. both sides. And it's still nested and thin and open back construction. Um, this one comes with a deep pocket wire clip. Uh, it's a little bit different in the bi-directional texturing on this. We went with more of a honeycomb pattern. Yeah, yeah, um, as compared to what you have going here, right? Yeah, which is that squared, squared pattern. Yeah. So we're starting to expand out in that. In fact, I guess if you want to preview again. Oh, yeah. See, that's the Cara Cara, the Endura, and the Sage. But they all have bi-directional. This is ovals, honeycombs, and squares. And we're still developing that, the size, the depth, how much it grabs. I mean, yeah. textures is a big world. No, it really is. Um, so yeah, the Sage, this is the next one in our Sage series, the lightweight compression lock. Um, oh, that reminds me. Oh, I don't have it right now in front of me, but uh, we're doing new engineering on these compression locks and lightweights. Um, if you look at the new car, car, um, Capara, the new Akuchi that's come out, um, the Sage. In future models, we did a seamless transition, a CQI, where it has a bushing system on the inside. Okay. And so the action on these new knives, this one doesn't have the bushing system. It's not dropping quite like Right, like want. just falling. Yeah. 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 Um, but but uh, when these things are delivering to the marketplace, we're going to have that new bushing system inside too. Cool. So we're excited for that engineering change. Well, and, and speaking of delivering to the marketplace, like you mentioned with the preview, with this release, everything you guys are seeing on the table right now, um, all this stuff is two to three months out. Shooting, or, sh or shipping. Shooting for some Labor Day. Yeah, yeah. Nothing la some of it's shipping now. Yeah, yeah. But we're, right now the goal is uh, all this should be shipping by Labor Day. That's our, our goal. Cool. Um, I know you, the mo the modern market doesn't want to wait as long. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, I have to admit, even um, on my end, I have to admit, sometimes we've sat down even, and oh. you show me an awesome knife, and then it's like 12 months later, and I'm like, okay, I can get it now. Well, so it's know, nice the, to have this. The old days, you came to January, you showed your product for that year, yep. and you <laughs> dashed it out through the year, but uh, people can't wait that long yep. anymore, and I understand. I'm, a, I'm that way. Yeah, I'm, I'm impatient. <laughs> but, um, so like the Indela, this is a Harrier two. Um, why I point them both out is this is in between the Metal Arc and Cara Cara. Again, the Cara Cara is getting to be a big knife for a lot of people, but they yeah. want more than the Metal Arc. Um, so this is the Harrier. It's designed the same with the four finger choil. You can get all the fingers on it, the full flat. The, again, it's a mid lock back. This one's made in China, so it's a cost effective knife for us, the bird line. I was going to say, the, um, the, if you guys notice out there, if you don't know, the, the hole's a little different. So this is the bird line. This is yep. kind of the budget line. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we make all of our birds in China. Then we make a few Spyderco models in China. Okay. Really, most people don't know this, but around 10% or less is most of our Chinese production. Yeah. Um, but with the makers that we do work with in China, we've been working with for a very long time, and we try to bring a lot of the Spyderco quality to both the Bird and the, and the Spyderco line. Um, but that is one of the things you'll be able to see is that, that, that trademarked comment. But it's going to bring a lot of those Spyderco attributes in its design and its functionality and its materials, the HCR 13 MOV, the Peel Ply G10. Most of our G10s are, we consider them really good in quality, and so we're excited about a lot of those. Screw together construction, four-way clip, so here yeah. too. Well, and honestly, I've, I've used birds and stuff, you know, for videos or getting ready for things uh, just to experience them, right? I'm, and uh, 
Honestly, to me, it feels like Spider Co. <laughs> yeah. You know, in the old days, I'm thinking the 80s. Yeah. Um, we were producing most of our knives in Japan, and they brought a lot of value to the marketplace back then. And and we were working home shows and flea markets, and 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 you know that working man on the site with his pocket knife oh, was yeah. a lot of what built our company. That officer that was carrying it. You know, nowadays. People love the, the materials and the engineering and the design and the collectability, and I love all that too. Oh, yeah. But we also re always remember that we're reliable, high performance for that guy that's going to go out there and use the damn thing. And they can't always afford the, the super expensive no, materials. No, it's true. It's true. Yeah. I, I think that out of all the knives that I see and all the, all the pictures I see from people that use them, Spyderco seem to always be the ones that are beat up the most, but just keep trucking. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's used clips in the pocket. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Oh, all yeah. the black is just worn yeah. off. It's a, a wear of pride. Yeah, it's know? a beautiful thing. <laughs> you know? All right. Uh, next is we're taking the Dragonfly 2. Uh, these are both in the reveal, soon to deliver. This is an Emerson opener on a two and a half inch knife. Huh. Um, I love it. You know, when if I'm looking for a, a lightweight little knife that just gets right open. Yeah. This has been a really fun carry. Um, that, that hook is going to find its way. That uh, deep pocket wire clip keeps it lightweight and doesn't show away too much. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, And with the four finger choil, you're getting all four fingers on. But if you're looking for an Emerson opener small knife, this is a great package. That, that's, that's, that's actually pretty neat. Uh, when I, I can I can never hit the wave when I'm sitting down, guys, but when I stand up, I'm going to have to try this thing out. <laughs> yeah. I, I <laughs> That's <agree>. really neat. <laughs> um, so uh, then uh, Warren Cliffs. A lot of people are Warren Cliff fans, me in particular. I mean, you can really reach out there with the edge and the tip, and you have a lot of control. Yeah. Um, if you look at our Warren Cliffs, the edge angles, the flatness, the crispness of the tip, we're, we take a lot of pride in it. It's a nice, true, clean Warren Cliff. Uh, it comes with the full flat. And then it's got that great self-close. It also fits in the Dragonfly package really nicely for the pocket. It does. But it also has that deep pocket wire clip, bi-directional texturing, screw together construction. Yeah. And I, I love the deep, the, the deep carry wire clip. Yep. I love that clip I so do. much. I, yeah. I mean, we were mentioning the one, the paint and everything, but yep. oof, I love me a deep carry wire clip. <laughs> yeah, you know, we... Um, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, pat the, the, the ch beat the chest too much, but we were doing wire clips back in the 90s with the Meerkat and the, oh, yeah. and the Q. Uh, we were the first to bring a lot of the, I think we're the first to bring wire clips to the market, and we did a lot of the first deep pocket wire clips, and we continue to develop them. Yeah. You know, their size, how they hold the pocket, um, their length, and, and how they mount, and so they don't go anywhere. I mean, there's a big world of clips, and, yeah. and wire is a fun, fun evolution of it. All right, speaking of wire clips, I have the, the Dodo that comes with wire clips, there or the Balio. The, yeah, the Balio. That, that comes with wire <laughs> clips. So this is the new Balio. It comes with a uh, wing. Uh, we call it the wing because it has a set of wings. Um, and then they have slots in there, so it's a little bit easier to, to grab the slots and work with it. Uh, still has the, the holes at the end so that you can carry that weight around. Yeah. Um, still has that pen that comes out for easy operation um, but yeah for the Balio fans I'm one of them yeah no, I know I love these they're so much fun so much fun <laughs> so that's pretty much most of the reveal program that's going on right now during Blade great well that's wonderful so this guys these are things that you should be able to find on the site very very soon and that will be shipping very very soon within the next two to three months and yes. some of it's already shipping and some of it's yeah. already shipping so and now as promised since you guys held on to the end we've got a little sneak peek we usually don't do this but Eric had one with him so we got to show you because um, it was actually a knife that was one of your first designs were your first yeah design, I'm right? excited for yeah, this yeah, one yeah. so I brought it uh, this was my first design I, I designed when I was a, a kid but this is my first production design yeah yeah uh, one of my big um fans, one of the knives I loved as a kid, kid was the Cricket. Nice. We still make it today. It's got the reverse S. Again, that, that was Spyderco's first design. We got all the patents on that, that reverse S concept that was on the Civilian and the Cricket. And as a, a kid, I loved that stuff, but I wanted more handle to it. The Cricket's got a smaller handle, but it's a small package. Yeah. Um, and so for this one, I could get all four fingers on. I also wanted it so it held in reverse pretty well. Okay. So it's got kind of a funny tail on there so that you can so hold, you can it hold for reverse. the reverse. 
Um, and then it's got this little slot on top so that you can get your thumb on top so you can really get in, get in and work that tip. Detail work. And if you're really, you know, if you're holding a knife this way or you're getting your thumb on top and you're really working that tip, you want a really strong lock. And yeah. that's where the ball bearing came in. Um, with that ball bearing, everything else has to break around it. It's going to give you tremendous action and it's self-closed, it's workability, and it's going to be strong. The wear and tear is tremendous on it. You also don't need liners, so you can keep the weight down. Um, and then it comes with that wire clip. Um, this is going to be the natural G10 M4 version. You guys might know something something about that, you know. Yeah, <laughs> we do them every once in a while. <laughs> Mine might end up another color, who knows. Cool, um, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but right on. I, I love these scales. I If you know, yeah, playing with these scales is a, is a fun thing. Oh, yeah. You guys have, have got a good thing going there. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we like these patterns a lot. And honestly, that M4, I've, I've got the, uh, the coated uh, pair of three in the M4 that we did. I love that knife. Yeah. Absolutely love that knife. Good, good material. Good, good handle. Yeah. Um, I, you know, now that I'm looking at it, if if you were to listen real closely, there's a little sound. Oh yeah. If you do hear that little sound in the marketplace, don't worry. It's the ball bearing kind of bouncing in over that detail. <laughs> so, um, so, so you, so you guys can hear. It. I'll put it a little bit closer here. So it's that little click is what he's talking yeah. about. Uh, so there is a tiny little click on most of the dodos. Um, you might get an oddball that doesn't have it, mm -hmm. but for the most part, that little click is there. The only reason I say it is because before I know it, somebody's going to be on YouTube or something talking right. about a little click on their dodo. <laughs> right, it's got this little click to it. It's like, no, it's, it's okay. It's supposed it's to be okay. there. <laughs> a, the knife still works well. Um, so unfortunately, guys, uh, we are giving you a little taste, but we have no idea when these are going to be available. Yep. Um, We're but, getting close on these ones. Yeah, so. they're getting close. So you know, obviously, be on our email lists, uh, watch here on YouTube, and of course, follow our Instagram because we announce them on Instagram, we announce them on YouTube, and we announce them through our email. So all the things. All right. <laughs> thanks for doing this. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for being here. It's always a pleasure, really, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I appreciate yeah, it for sure. All right, guys, uh, thanks for following along, and uh, make sure to check, our, check out our 2019 Blade Show playlist here on YouTube for uh, all the great coverage we've got going on. See you next time.